Hi folks, I'm Franco Tinelli and this is Science of Singing. In today's lecture, I'm going to give you the nine golden rules of how to get a pot job working. Rule number one. Discover, or if necessary, rediscover your natural voice. This is very important. Why I'm saying rediscover? Because in my own practice and in a world practice, there are many misplaced voices, meaning that you are a tenor, but you're really baritone and you're singing as a tenor. Uh, I won't be going into details how to do it because I already posted many programs on that or you can check it out rediscovering your own voice and other uh, practical suggestions for those who don't know chiaro scuro is the bright and dark so your voice should not sound either woofy or over bright it has to have a certain balance and only by this balance later on you can achieve one register singing meaning that you can, you can sing passaggio and higher notes without changing the timbre in your notes if your voice in a low register is kind of woofy doesn't have chiaro then of course when you go up to the uh, higher register you need to put a chiaro otherwise you totally choke uh, but if you discover your voice in the context of chiaroscuro already, you don't have to blend anything. Rule number two. Discover, feel, sense the dynamic opposition of the diaphragm. Well, by the time you're singing a supported voice, you have to know that all supported voice is the result of the diaphragm holding it. So when you learn this, it can be very, very natural. And to the certain point, you won't feel much about your diaphragm doing anything. So you need how to learn dynamic opposition because dynamic opposition of the diaphragm, or it more correctly said, uh, strengthening of the diaphragm. Uh, if you totally don't know how to breathe diaphragmically, first learn how to breathe diaphragmically. But remember, breathing diaphragmically doesn't mean that you learn how to support diaphragmically, because breathing and supporting are not exactly the same thing. So, but learning how to breathe diaphragmically is the first step to try to feel your diaphragm and try to understand how it functions. Rule number three is you have to accept that one register singing is based on diaphragmical appoggio support. You have to accept this fact that your mind will be very clear to where are you going and in a way Maybe you have to believe in it because you don't have experience with that yet. Develop your vocal ear. Meaning, for those who don't know what vocal ear is, it's not exactly a musical ear. It's two types of sensation basically. Sensations of the resonance and physical sensation of support. Pay attention to it and after a while you become an expert in that. You will feel and sense much more than you did it before. That is very important because as a professional singer you have to grow up to the point that you can sing everywhere, not just in acoustically friendly places. And uh, of course that comes with experience, definitely. But if you know the rule, you can actually uh, shorten up this process and understand how do I sound inside of me. And we don't pay attention to it. We pay attention to the total sound. So the vocal ear is basically an ear that allows you to feel rather than hear. 
and that is very important too for all professional singers. Rule number five. Abandon all traditional theories about singing and uh, placements. Well, I don't want you just to abandon them and start believing in something else. Be critical. Just have a critical approach to what you learned before. Look at it as a person who does not necessarily accept everything people tell him. Just look at this critically again. Look critically at what you've learned, what you've been said, and what is the reality of singing, what is machinery of singing, and how it corresponds with the, the total you know, process. So this is very important for you to abandon false theories or traditional theories and stand on a scientific ground. Rule number six, develop your natural range, natural resonance, slowly, uh, so that you can physically support it. If you try to accelerate this process, you will never get to the real appoggio. You don't have to unite anything. If you discovered your chiaroscuro natural resonance, all you have to do is develop it through support. Yeah. Rule number seven. Record yourself constantly, whether you have a teacher or you don't. That is very important. That will develop your vocal ear eventually. I know that some singers, especially on the very beginning level, hate recording themselves because they don't like what they hear. Have the courage to do it. Even if you hate yourself when you hear yourself, make it sure, uh, unless it's pathological, unless it takes away all of the confidence that you have in you, uh, then I don't advise it. But uh, try to do it because that's a great help. That's a great help for your developing to understand how your voice sounds and understand uh, whether you accept certain things or don't, when you're not accepting certain things. So that's very important rule. Now, this one is rule number eight. Get yourself a true apodro teacher, or one registered teacher. Uh, now, how can you get that? Uh, your teacher has to qualify for one definitely one certain thing. Uh, he has to believe in one register singing or he has to believe that support is a major force in singing so he will lead you by support rather than placements. One registered teacher should have many qualities but one quality is the most important. He is a good vocal and terminal ear. Of course he has to have a pitch ear also definitely. But those who have even perfect pitch don't always have very developed timbral ear. So that is very important. And of course, number one for the apogee teacher, he has to believe and he has to follow. And rule number nine is patience. Be patient. Apogee takes a little bit more time than regular placement schools. Not much more, but a little bit more. But it gives amazing results. Uh, your voice will sound like one instrument, like beautiful instrument. It doesn't have to sound like Caruso's or anybody else's. It will sound like your own unique instrument. But at the same time, it will sound as one instrument, not as three instruments. So if you have a certain aesthetic views on voice, and you like beautiful voices, not just beautiful singing, but beautiful voices, then you should be, of course, patient, and you should know that the appoggio will work. Thank you very much. This was Franco Tanelli.
Science of Singing. Until next time. Thank you.